As America burns, the partisan divide in that country seems greater than ever. Too often in the past, when there have been senseless police killings, many conservatives and Republican leaders have come out in support of the police rather than their victims. This time, however, it appeared to be different. Many Republicans came out denouncing what had happened to George Floyd and discussing the issue of racism in America. But things quickly changed. Once the protests against Floyd's death turned into riots, many Republicans changed their tune, denouncing the rioters while disregarding any mention of racism. The problem is that both these things are true. Riots are bad, violence is bad, looting private property and public property is bad, Police brutality and racism are also bad. This is an issue that should be able to unite liberals and conservatives. We should all agree that Americans have the right to peaceful protest. We should also agree that looting and senseless violence is wrong. And it should go without saying that killing unarmed black men is also wrong. Yet all too often, conservatives seem to have a blind spot. They believe on the one hand in limited government, and on the other hand are willing to write blank checks to the military and police forces, the two instruments of the state's monopoly on violence. Yet there's little question in my mind that both these institutions have become way too big. The US military is now just a large socialist program funding all sorts of hardware that the military doesn't actually want in order to create jobs. And police forces look more like the army nowadays. We have SWAT teams with military hardware that look more like SEAL Team 6. And all too often, these police forces act as though they're operating above the law. Police in the United States kill about 1,000 people a year, and 99% of the officers involved in those shootings are not even charged with crimes, let alone prosecuted. Meanwhile, African Americans have more encounters with the police than white people do, even accounting for higher crime rates in black neighborhoods, have worse outcomes with the criminal justice system, are charged with drug crimes at a higher rate despite doing drugs at the same rate as white people, and are overrepresented in prison populations. Anybody who believes in limited government and the rule of law should be outraged by these statistics. Instead of using the situation to once again divide the country, wouldn't it be great to see people, Republicans and Democrats, come out and use this as an opportunity, this moment of shared hardship in the face of a global pandemic, of shared grief in the face of a senseless killing, to unite the country? Wouldn't that be great?